Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Breville 800JEXL Juice Fountain Elite. It's a thousand watt juicer with two speeds producing soft and hard produce. The low speed of 6500 RPMs is for soft produce and high speed of 13,000 RPMs is for hard produce. There's a red off button and a toggle switch for the high or low speed option. The unit measures about 17 inches tall and 16 inches wide, including the pitcher. It will take up some counter space since it is a large machine. The housing is die cast steel. The juicer comes with a stainless steel micro mesh filter and a titanium plated cutting disc. The juicing pitcher holds 34 ounces and has a froth separator. It also comes with a large pulp container with integrated handle. A cleaning brush and instruction booklet with recipes are also included. All the parts that come in contact with food are BPA free. There is cord storage at the bottom of the base. Even the plug is designed well because you can put your finger in it for ease of use. Bravo calls it an assist plug. To disassemble, turn the unit off and unplug it. Remove the pulp container by tilting it out. The pitcher just slides out. Move the locking arm down. Take the food pusher out. Lift up the cover, hold the base of the juicer and turn the spout. This lifts right up. Hold the filter bolts around upside down and the filter comes right out. Now we'll assemble the unit. Put the filter bolts around on top of the base. It just sits nicely. Align the arrow on the filter to the arrow in the middle here and push down until you hear that click. The juicer cover goes right on top. Lock the arm. Align the groove on the food pusher with the slot right here in the chute and slide it right down. Tilt and put the pulp container against the unit. Some people like to put a bag inside this container to avoid washing it. The pitcher slides right into the spout. I like the locking arm feature because there's no guessing. You know the unit is locked and ready to juice. The juicer will not turn on if the cover is not locked in place. The feed tube is round and 3 inches in diameter. It should fit some fruits and vegetables whole. That saves you time by not having to cut up the produce. The chute is about 7 inches tall, so you can easily drop in long ingredients like carrots, cucumbers, and celery. If the machine senses that it's overloaded, it will automatically shut down to prevent overheating. The filter basket, disc, and food pusher should be hand washed. Other parts can be put on the top rack of your dishwasher. I'll juice apples, carrots, oranges, and kale to see how the gravel performs. I'm going to juice three medium apples. The machine is plugged in. And once you turn the toggle to high or slow, the machine will automatically start. I've cut the apples into quarters to fit the chute. If your apples are smaller, they might fit in here whole, or you can cut them in half to fit. I'll turn the speed on high. really quick. You saw there was no spraying of juice because the spout fits right into the pitcher and the cover is on. You see that the juice is very clear and it has the froth on top. There's about 10 ounces of clear juice from the three medium apples. I'll taste it. Oh! <laughs> I should have poured it into a glass. Um, but it's real apple goodness. Don't forget to watch the pitcher when you're juicing because it'll fill up really fast if you're juicing a lot of produce. Especially when you first get the machine, you'll have a tendency to just watch what's going on here under the clear cover and sort of forget about the juice coming out here. Just going to check the pulp. The pulp is pretty dry, which means it got most of the juice out. There are a few chunks of apple, though. I wanted to pour the juice out for you. And you can see the froth separator really works and all the froth stays in the pitcher. It's a little bit cloudy, but I don't taste any of the pulp in the juice. It tastes very clean and has an awesome apple flavor. It's best to put the carrots in tip up. 
I'll turn the machine on high. That was also super fast. I only juiced three carrots because I figure you're really not going to juice more than that when you drink your juice. You'll probably add in some apples, ginger, um, or other fruits or vegetables. The pulp from the carrots is very dry, so pretty much all the juice was extracted. There's a little over five ounces of carrot juice from the three medium to large carrots. There's a little bit of froth left in the pitcher. It's really nice, brightly colored carrot juice. It tastes very rich and it's really good even all by itself. And it tastes pretty clear. There's no pulp in here either. After you take the pitcher out, there might be a few drops left in the juicer. You could just tilt the machine and get those few drops. Next, I'll juice my oranges. I've got four oranges here. Make sure they're peeled and most of the white pith is removed. Otherwise, your juice will be bitter. So I'll juice my oranges on the low setting. If you're new to juicing, the instruction manual and the recipe booklet really does help. It tells you what speed to juice the produce. The manual has some nutritional facts about fruits and veggies and also some recipes. We'll juice our oranges on the low setting. is extremely fast and extremely powerful. So when you drop in your produce, be quick to follow up with the food pusher right away, otherwise it might spit out little pieces of produce at you. We have about 15 ounces of orange juice from the four oranges. As you can see, the orange juice is pretty cloudy. Looks really good. I'll taste it. And that is really good. It's got the full flavor of the oranges. And there is no pulp in there. I'm just going to taste it again to make sure. Um, there's no pulp, but it tastes more, um, a little bit more thick than the apple juice. And if you like the froth, you can just mix that back into your juice and drink it. The pulp from the oranges is wet as expected. You could probably squeeze a little bit of juice out, but it did get most of the juice out, so it did a pretty good job. It can get very expensive to juice oranges because most of the time you don't get much yield, um, but this unit did give us a nice 15 ounces out of the four oranges, and I think that's really good. I'm really curious to see how this unit does with greens because lower end centrifugal juicers don't do a great job on leafy greens. To get the most juice out of these leafy greens, I'm using kale by the way, process them with harder vegetables like carrots or apples. I'll roll up the kale as best as I can. And it's best to fill up most of the shoot with the kale. And the stalks are hard, so that should also help get some juice out of the greens. So the kale is going to be juiced on low setting.
It's a gorgeous color, but I don't know how it's going to taste. I will taste it for you guys, though. It's not bad. I don't like kale, and I don't like kale juice, but the apple makes it drinkable. Make sure you clean the juicer right after you finish juicing, especially the mesh filter. Use the brush to clean it thoroughly. Otherwise, there will be food buildup over time, which can make juicing less efficient. As for the noise, it is a loud machine. It's a centrifugal juicer and they will be loud. Masticating juicers are much quieter. I like the design of this bruggle. It's simple, elegant, and looks gorgeous on your countertop. Everything just fits together well without any effort. It also juices super fast and yields a very good amount of juice. It looks and feels like a solid machine. I love bringing you these reviews and I hope you'll support my channel by subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Breville 800JEXL Juice Fountain Elite. It's a thousand watt juicer with two speeds for juicing soft and hard produce. The low speed of 6500 RPMs is for soft produce and high speed of 13,000 RPMs is for hard produce. There's a red off button and a toggle switch for the high or low speed option. The unit measures about 17 inches tall and 16 inches wide, including the pitcher. It will take up some counter space since it is a large machine. The housing is die cast steel. The juicer comes with a stainless steel micro mesh filter and a titanium plated cutting disc. The juicing pitcher holds 34 ounces and has a froth separator. It also comes with a large pulp container with integrated handle. A cleaning brush and instruction booklet with recipes are also included. All the parts that come in contact with food are BPA free. There is cord storage at the bottom of the base. Even the plug is designed well because you can put your finger in it for ease of use. Breville calls it an assist plug. To disassemble, turn the unit off and unplug it. Remove the pulp container by tilting it out. The pitcher just slides out. Move the locking arm down. Take 